Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I know you are doing great this new year. So today I'm going to be showing you how to have a very sweet yummy puff puff. I already had a video of how to have puff puff with ripe plants. So please try and watch the video, you will really love it. The taste was really nice. So today is without ripe plant. So here is my yeast. This yeast will make the mist flour to rise good for the puff puff and my sugar is here my all purpose flour is here and here is my nutmeg so let's get started i'm going to put my yeast inside the bowl now my yeast is in the bowl i'm going to add lukewarm water not cold water the lukewarm water will make the yeast good so i'm going to mix the yeast with the lukewarm water it's made it good so the next step is for me to add sugar i'm going to use two cups this sugar i'm using two cups and i'm going to add my nutmeg the nutmeg will make the puff puff to have very nice flavor you know even from afar you can hear the scent of the puff puff with the nutmeg so i'm going to mix everything together i'm going to add one more cup of this sugar to mix everything together time to mix together the yeast, the local water, the sugar and the nuts milk. You have to mix it properly. You know. It's mixed good already so now it's time to add our all-purpose flour for all preparation. Add everything and mix together. So now it's time to mix the flour, everything together. You can use your hand also, so I'm just going to use my hand now. <laughs> so I'm going to add more lukewarm water because it's too thick. Of course, have to be light, not thick. The mixing continues. So I'm still missing it. I didn't use my hand even. So this is just what for missing, you know, flour is very good. It's what I've been using. I didn't even need to use my hand for missing it. So it's almost true, you know. So it's soft enough. It's watery. So it needs to be watery for both. both. So all I need now is just to use my aluminum paper to cover it for it to rise for the both. both. When it looks this way, you know it's really mixed good. Just use the aluminum paper so that the mixed flour can rise. I'm going to allow it for 45 minutes to 1 hour so it can rise for the buff buff frame. See you later. So here we are. As you can see, it's really okay. And... The mist flour rice good for the puff puff. So now what we are going to do is to start frying it. <laughs> so here is my pan. I have to pour the granite oil in for the frying the puff puff. So my oil is very hot. So this is how to start the frying. Just pick it little. I just turned it so it's still frying. Buff, buff. Here is our buff, buff. So the frying continues. Here we are. Our buff, buff is ready. So these are two ways for you to enjoy your buff, buff more. You can see here is my flour sugar. This is what I just used. It's called flour sugar for cakes, for waffles, you know. So I just use it for the buff, buff. So here is my red beans. This is what I use. You know, I just prepared it here. Here is my red beans with mangi, with onions, with granite oil. Oh, yes. So you can you really enjoy your buff buff more either with this red beans prepared just the way I prepare it now or with this flour sugar. Thanks a million for watching. 
hope you love this video please thumbs up please subscribe to my channel for more videos mama what is buff buff called in netherlands yeah in netherlands buff buff is called holy bowling thanks for watching see you in my next video bye